is Lucas, and welcome to the third episode of Hey Jays, where I talk about everything new with the Jays. If you like the Jays, but can't watch the games, come here for an understanding on what's going on. The Jays were good this week against the Red Sox, and managed to win that series 2-1. to one. The Jays then played the Rays, and were good in that series. Now, away from the games, the Jays have had bad pitching the last few weeks, but it's getting better. Kevin Gossman, one of the Jays' best starters, had a right ankle injury removing him from the game against the Rays. But later, the x-rays came back negative, and they say they would take it day by day. And I think the Jays shouldn't be worried about this, but if it is bad, the Jays would have to call up someone to be a starter for them, which is not what the Jays want right now. Speaking of pitching, the Jays have a new 39-year-old in the pen, Sergio Romo. Romo pitched against the Rays, and he will hopefully become a good reliever to keep in the pen. He pitched on Wednesday, letting in no runs. He played with San Francisco and Seattle, but Seattle ditched him after he had an ERA of 8.16 over 17 games. He won three World Series with the Giants, so hopefully he can win some with the Jays, too. As you might know, Alejandro Kirk has been hot the past few weeks, and the Sox might have been scared of him, because it appeared they were trying to hit him, and when they got him in the elbow, Vladdy was not happy. He started yelling at Nick Pavetta, the pitcher for the Sox, and then Devers, the shortstop for the Sox, came out and said something to him. Then the dugout came out, and George Springer was calming Guerrero down and brought him back to the dugout. By then, all the players and coaches, beside Alec Manoa, George, and Vladdy, were on the field yelling. And Charlie Montoyo is coming out, and he is pointing towards Kirk and the plate. He wants to go talk to Kirk and to make sure he's okay. He was just talking to DJ Rayburn, the home plate umpire. And now Devers is coming in, and Vladdy is coming out, and Pavetta is yelling at somebody. I think he and Guerrero are having words. You know, the Blue Jays have been hit a lot lately, and Kirk's been hit on a couple of occasions as well. And Springer's playing peacemaker right now, trying to keep Vladdy under control. Manoa is out on the field as well. And he is now being guided back to the Blue Jay dugout. And fortunately, this one didn't really boil over. But I think, remember the first time Kirk was uh, up, there was a fastball that buzzed him up and in. And that one looked like it hit him on the hand. A few warnings were issued. And uh, no one got ejected, but it was quite a surprise. Triple-A starter Aaron Hatch came up on Saturday, and he was not so hot, letting in 11 runs against the Rays. That game, Charlie Montoyo was speaking with the rest of the coaching staff, and then left the dugout, putting Pete Walker in charge, and it set the bullpen catcher in Mark Budwinski's spot as first base coach. Danny Jansen has been practicing, and he might be back in next month, which would be good, and Zach Collins might also come back, but then that would mean Moreno might have to say goodbye. But maybe they can figure out a way to keep all of them, which would be great because everyone has been loving Moreno. My name is Lucas. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.